here's what we have in the news mental health is still a big struggle in jamaica parents of the 19 year old Aphelia baptiste is still grieving and still feeling guilty you're watching what's what jamaica news tv where we bring you the latest news kindly make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the video stay tuned Here are the details. Now, mental health is still a big struggle in Jamaica, and people are so naive. With this young woman, all the signs were there, and she was at the age where it could happen. What happened to this young woman could definitely have been avoided. It's not that um, one wants to blame the parents, because it's just the way the system is. The lack of understanding when it comes to mental health issues in Jamaica is just overwhelming. Aphelia Baptiste is a 19 year old. Recently started acting in a way that her relatives described as unusual and they now wish they had paid more attention or sought mental health for her. Now the teen hanged herself inside a bathroom and was discovered on March 29 by her grandmother, Charmaine McDonald, while she was at home in Kintyre, St. Andrew. She has a four-year-old kid, and that poor child would will have to continue life without her mother, not knowing her mother, and to, to you know, it's going to be play on her mental, on her mind, when she realized, you know, when she get older and she realized what happened, exactly happened to her mother. Baptist complained to her mother on March 27, just two days before she passed away, about hearing unusual noises within the house. So she, that was symptoms of schizophrenia. Monday night she asked, she said, um, you know, hear that? So the mother inquired as to what she was discussing. She reported to her mother that she hear knocking. She then claimed to have heard other sounds before turning around and she went back to her room. And the mother took it lightly because she never understood. And you know, that's understandable. So she went back into the mother's room on the 29. And she was looking at some cuts that she had her, on her hand and she commented to the mother that these things that i do are are some crazy things so she, it apparently it looked like she was going in and out of that mental situation because she she was able to show her mother her hand and she was able to say what she was doing was crazy so when the mother of the girl grandmother called the mother the mother was on the phone the mother name is Terry Ann and she was saying that her mother called her while she was on the phone with someone to come and look in the bathroom because apparently the grandmother went into the bathroom and she came across the 19 year old hanging up in the restroom in the so the mother said i was instructed to look by my mother i went and discovered that it was accurate i couldn't handle it i couldn't figure out how to get her done when i noticed her tongue sticking out when she was a child she was fine according to the mother she didn't have any mental issue everything was normal but that's what happened with like schizophrenia it usually takes people when they turn teenage years and this symptom must have been going on for a while and the mother not paying attention. She did have a minor issue when she would flee. But as soon as we caught her, she was fine. Her mother gave explanation. That means she was displaying the symptoms all along. They, they catch her and she's fine. 
Yet the grandmother claimed that despite not being part of her granddaughter's childhood, she still adored her grandchild. And the, the, the grandmother was feel so, she said she feel so awful. Both mother and grandmother, they are feeling guilty. What ifs? You know, they are thinking what ifs. But the system plays a role in the mental issue. It's mental issue. It's just another form of illness that people do not bring onto themselves. But Jamaicans are still finding it to be embarrassing and keep it a secret instead of reaching out for help. But the only thing I can say, I hope that her death will not be in vain and that other people can learn from this experience. When they see symptoms like this, especially in teenagers, they're supposed to see mental health, mental health, um, help for them before it gets to this point. Now she could have lived a normal life had she been to a doctor and put on some form of medication. And she don't do whatever she do deliberately. It's what's in her head that told her to do what she did. So guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Kindly make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos and I will see you back here on my next YouTube video.